Okay guys, we're getting ready to go on a tour. Rock Island Pottery Company and Marketplace. I was going to let Miss Judy, supposed to be our secretary, help out, but obviously secretary? she is trying to hide out. Secretary? Alright, what is your title anyway? I have no idea. Uh, give me something, Miss Judy. The keeper. <laughs> oh, okay, she's the keeper. Well, she is kind of the keeper, does the records, everything else. But anyway, we've got some really cool stuff. This is Bob Pope. His wood turn art. We have Tammy's pottery in here as well, along with ours. Handbags. Really cool ideas. Um, a lot of Lost Creek Bee Barn stuff. We have some liniments, some sprays, pain relief. In here, we have actually got a sharpening stone from 1885. See the date on there. Look around through, we see some photography. And actually, there's some of my work. I'm a photographer as well as a potter. Along with Scott and our nine adopted children, hopefully one of them is going to be a potter one day too. Quilts, Miss Hattie. We've got Joanna Wade who does the aprons. Some clothes in here. Pillows, more handbags. As we're walking on through, Miss Niecy Herbert. Ah, her amazing artwork. Her photography is around everywhere throughout here. She actually does a great job. I'm very inspired by her work of art. There's a old doorway downtown McMinnville. Of course, we're located in Rock Island, which is only 12 miles away from Edmondville. Going through, still see Niecy's work on the walls. One of my, my best friends, Andy Jones, she does a lot of driftwood art. It's a Christmas tree that she ended up doing. It's her piece. Um, her pieces sell pretty quickly. There is a hand-painted copy of the Old Mill here in Rock Island State Park. Walking on through, different pieces, we've got a guitar, now her art is really cool, it's metal infused with uh, barn wood and the painting along with that. Joe Green is new here, uh, he's only been with us maybe about a week or two and he is, he's doing great with his laser cutting, has some wonderful ideas. Damon Woodley does the banjos, the guitars. And we just got a basket weaver in today. Thank goodness, because we've been looking for one for a while. Going through. Got an assortment of candles. A lady that does recycled glass work. Some of our pottery over around through the side. As we're going on through, we see more. This is kind of what we call the kitchen area to a degree because it's got, well, a lot of kitchen stuff in here. The Dixie Fixins. Some more of Miss Hattie's work. And Jermaine, ah, don't let me forget. There is the Old Depot, also hand painted by the same lady that done the mill. Her work is wonderful. Jermaine does the painted art, the abstracts. So as we get something new, I'm going to keep you posted and updated at what's going on out here at Rock Island Pottery Company. And plus, maybe I'll fill you in a story about our nine adopted children next time you'll be able to see my face. Thanks. Bye.